Welcome to another video tutorial from Valencia Photography Workshops. This one is about getting a film negative into your computer using very basic equipment and your camera. Hi, I'm Stephen Power. I've been a photographer for about 40 years and in the 1980s and 1990s I exclusively used film, film cameras and was processing my own black and white uh, film stock every day. I worked as a press photographer, go out on an assignment, expose the roll of film, bring it back, develop it, print it and have it at the newspaper office the same evening sometimes or certainly very early the next morning before the paper went to bed as they called it, before they went to press. Now, since digital arrived, I haven't used film very much at all until the last few months. And I've got back into it using a very old camera, a Zeiss icon that you can see in the introduction to these videos. And I've started developing my own film. The problem is that without using an enlarger, to make the prints, you have to get the negative into a computer. And I started looking around for a, a scanner and really good film scanners were over 2,000 euros and half decent flatbed scanners were 800 euros. So having spoken to friends and colleagues who were using a different method to scan photographs or digitize them from negative into the computer. I've come up with my own way of doing it as well. It's a bit um, makeshift, but it seems to work very well. So in this video, I'll show you the basic setup I've got. And in another video, I'll show you the same method, but using slightly more advanced methods, if you like, and um, equipment. So here is my very um, basic setup for scanning my black and white negatives or actually digitizing them. I'm photographing them with a Canon 5D3 camera with a Sigma 105mm macro lens. Then it's attached to a horizontal bar on a Manfrotto tripod. You can see that I've got the camera strap well out of the way and also I'm using a cable release. Even though I've got the camera set to a two second timer, it can still cause shake in the camera by pressing it too hard and that um, vibration from the shake might not have completely stopped when the image is uh, photographed. So I use a cable release and set the camera for a two second timer delay. On the table are two sets of video cassette and DVD boxes taped together which are acting as a platform for a film holder that I bought from Amazon which is supplied for scanners, Epsom scanners I think, which I don't have, but that is holding the piece of negative, in this case it's 120 film. And underneath that is an iPad, which will act as a light source for the negative. So here I've got the iPad switched on as the light source. And I'm just putting the negative in the film holder and clamping it down. There's one problem with this film holder is that you can see that the negative is slightly bowed. It's important to get as much dust off the film as possible before photographing the negative. I use a hand blower to do that. I'm focusing the camera manually 
turning the focusing ring very carefully and trying to focus on the grain rather than the content of the image and then using the timer to take the shot. Here is the scan frame. I reversed the negative to a positive using a simple method in Adobe Lightroom with the tone curve and I have another video on that which you might like to see. It's not a perfect photograph um, and some adjustments need to be made to the process and slightly better equipment to keep the negative flat and I'll be talking about that in a further video. But I hope you enjoyed it and I really do hope that this has inspired you to start getting back into black and white. Please click the subscribe button to stay in touch for more videos from Valencia Photography Workshops.